Florida Georgia fans are lining up outside RV City near the stadium for Saturday's annual showdown. RV City does not open until tomorrow morning. This year, because of construction on the Hart Bridge ramp, the celebration at that popular location will be smaller than in the past, and some fans are disappointed. News for Jacks reporter Jim Pickett is joining us live downtown where he's been talking with fans and RV City about this week ahead. Jim? You know, Tom, RV City opens at 8 a.m. tomorrow, but as you can see, the RVs are already here. They're lined up and down Bryan Street. We're just east of the stadium. Goes down this way as well. Then they, can, they turn down there and end up on Talleyrand. Lots of people here, but not everybody in line here is going to be able to get in to enjoy RV City. They're not really disappointed because they'd say they'd be here anyway. Ron and Judy Skinner showed up outside the stadium in their RV over the weekend and met up with many of the fans already in line for RV City. They've done this for many years. Skinner say they tried to book a spot online, but as they were waiting, RV City sold out. That was more than a month ago. So they're going to an alternate spot nearby. How do you feel about that? We're, yeah. we're down for the party. It don't matter where we're at. The city says it's construction that's forcing them to lay out a different plan for RV City. For Randy Stone, who's here from Georgia, it's taking away from the fun. It's different. What's different? Well, they cut RV City out about half a capacity, and there's not a lot of folks here right now still. Not what's usually here. City officials say they're ready for the crowds. There are a number of events this week, including a Florida-Georgia baseball game, concert, and Hall of Fame ceremony. Many of those events and RV City were canceled last year because of the pandemic. Those that are here now are glad it's underway, but they can't help but notice something has changed. It's totally different than it's been in the past. Uh, different feeling altogether. Um, and we're disappointed uh, that they cut RV City in half. So um, it's, it's going to be different this year. Do you think it's going to be fun? Oh, we're going to have a good time regardless. There's been concern about safety as well. Jacksonville just had a violent weekend with eight people shot and six shootings around the city. Organizers are setting up five safety zones should fans need any help. The city's role in preparing for the game came under fire earlier this year because of another event the Orange Crush weekend in June. For that, the inmates at the jail downtown were sent to other counties in anticipation of a large number of arrests of young adults. That number of arrests never happened. The city also came under fire uh, with Orange Crush. So I asked, will the same procedures be in place for the Florida-Georgia game? From the response, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. That is an operational security uh, issue that we have. Um, we are constantly monitoring that situation with our inmate population. Remember, the Florida-Georgia game is a moneymaker for the city. They anticipate about $30 million in revenue. Now, tomorrow night, the city council is actually going to be taking up that contract with the both universities, a five-year contract. There's going to be fewer people at the game. That's because they're not putting up the north end zone temporary seats. They're going to keep that like a fan experience. And they're making that revenue up to the city by the city paying both universities more money. That's expected vote tomorrow night. It's expected to pass. For now, we're live outside of where Tailgate City is going to be. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.